Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and um, today we'll have a little explanation of the new Outlook.com website or what for a lot of people and for many many years was Hotmail. Uh, one of the first problems that people encounter is the fact that they are a little lost in their computer uh, usage and um, when they got into Outlook they were just a little lost and didn't understand how to actually um, work with Outlook and basically Outlook is not that much different from uh, Hotmail it's just that its layout is different and a lot of people are a little lost uh, when they uh, try to use it so uh, that is one of the problems uh, usually so first of all to answer the many many questions that people actually um, told me can I go back to Hotmail and the, question, the answer is no there's no way you can actually go back to Hotmail and uh, one of the reason that you cannot go back is that they really want you to use the interface of Outlook.com uh, website. So once you're uh, on your Outlook page, you gotta basically just learn how to use it. And uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that um, you know if you start looking around you'll actually see that um, everything is basically there in your account so if you had folders well look at the left side make sure you don't have that little uh, arrow here that closes the folders uh, all your folders should be at the left side of the screen so if you used folders there you should be there you shouldn't have any problems uh, using folders now one of the um, other problems people don't understand a little bit how to use the different options instead of having a layout at the top with one million different options basically what happens now is they've um, simply arranged those options so that you have um, kind of categories instead of having all the layout you know going through the screen so first if you want to type in a new message you'll just click the big plus there which says new and you'll be in the new message um, and all you have to do is uh, simply um, uh, learn to use the uh, the computer um, so you'll just have to pour here the address or if you have a, a list of address you can click on the two right here at the top and you'll have all your email address or your contacts there and you'll be able to actually um, click a contact or just you know type in whatever you want to type in here on your uh, computer and um, to who you want to send it and so I'll send myself a message for example here and then you have had a subject on the top so you just click there and says well okay a uh, new message and you type your message at the bottom there so uh, hi how's it how's it going for example and all you have to do once you've written your message is go into send at the top of the window and basically you will be just uh, sending a message if you have messages uh, one of the main things that people sometimes can't find is for example if you want to transfer a message to someone else how do you do it well click the message that you want to transfer uh, when you have a reply notice that reply has a little arrow on the front right next to it it's because when you reply if you click the arrow then you'll have the possibility to reply to one person reply all means to all the persons that have uh, their address so um, in the uh, message 
and forward lets you send that message or a copy of that message to someone else. So um, if you're looking for the forward button, uh, before it was there on the top, now you gotta click that little arrow in front of the reply to get the forward. If you wanna delete the message, well you have the delete is there. So all you have to do is delete it. And um, if you have junk mail, well you have now options, junk, phishing scam, and uh, my friend's been hacked. You have three choices now. So uh, if, for example, a friend of yours starts sending you these weird links with no messages, um, it might be possible that his account been hacked. So you can click my friend's been hacked. What it does is actually it will um, send a special message to your friend saying, hey, your account has been probably hacked. Uh, you should do something about it. Phishing scam, if you have anything from bank trying to, uh, you know, send you a, uh, to a bank site that's a phishing site, so it's not the real thing, or any other type of uh, scam, click phishing scam. And of course, if it's just something you just don't want, click junk. So um, if you want to move something to a folder, you can click the move to at the upper right and below it have inbox or whatever folder you can you have will appear on that um, move to. And finally, don't miss out on the three little dots on the right side of the screen. They have more options. And the more you have a re high resolution, the more options are there. But the lower your resolution, the less options are at the top. So the three little dots will give you other options. Don't uh, miss out on that if you want to have other options, including the famous print. Uh, you see here, print, it's in the little three dots there. So you got to be careful to make sure that when you click on a message and you want to print it, for example, go into the three little dots. If you don't see the print at the top, three little dots, you see print is right there. You'll just click on print and um, you'll be able to print a message. Uh, so um, basically, that's a quick tour of Outlook. Uh, not too much of a difference. Uh, one of the things Outlook adds that can be interesting on some, uh, personally I find it more annoying than uh, interesting, is the fact that you can link different accounts. You can f link your uh, Facebook account, you can link your Twitter accounts, um, all of that together and what happens is that uh, basically your Outlook page becomes some kind of a very social, uh, not only email but really a roundup of all your social activities. So uh, that was a quick tour of Outlook.com, which is basically your Hotmail. Last little question that I've been asked a lot. A lot of people say, hey, I'm going to lose my Hotmail message email address. No, you're not. The Outlook page is there, but your email, your Hotmail will always stay Hotmail. There, there's no changes there. They cannot do that because basically if they would change Hotmail to Outlook.com, uh, then all of your contacts cannot send you a message anymore. So it's uh, really not um, a good idea to change that. So your Hotmail address will still be there working. It's just that now you're on Outlook. So um, that was a quick tour on, on how to uh, read your messages, delete your messages, reply, transfer, and print. Um, don't be afraid to look around and don't and remember at the top you'll see these little arrows pointing down right next to some of the options. Uh, click on them because they have so much more options available and don't forget the little three dots on the upper right. So uh, if you enjoy our videos click the subscribe button and you'll be informed of new videos online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe a problem of some sort, an error message, uh, you can send us a private message and explain to us what's the problem and we'll try to put online a video uh, to fix, help you fix your problem. Uh, it's a great way to help others because if you have a computer problem, you're probably not alone with the same problem. Uh, so it's a great way to help others. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you come back to Easy Computer Fixes. Bye-bye.